the one thing you don't want to do as a new sewer is grab any machine, open it, take it out of the box, skim over the instructions, and jump right into sewing. The more you prep to actually sew, the more confidence you will have in your ability to sew. And the quality of your garments and products will be on a whole other level. So let's unbox, unpack, and get acquainted with our new sewing machine. And let's check out all those cool attachments that come with it. Hey fellow creatives, I'm Mina, your veteran fashion educator, designer, and mom to an amazing neurodiverse creative kiddo. Welcome back to Royal Fulani Living Soul School, where we build the confidence and community of the neurodiverse, newbie, and non-sewer, one creative at a time. No matter how many machines I've owned or purchased over the past two decades, there is nothing like a brand new machine right out of the box. So I am super excited to unbox a brand new machine with you all, especially for my creatives who are totally new to the sewing game. It's kind of like first day of school, crisp black and white composition book, shiny vinyl, trapper keeper. Yeah, I went to grade school in the 80s. I feel so old right now. So here's the machine I highly recommend it in lesson one. Feel free to drop back in the series to that lesson and hear a thorough overview of a series of brands that I reviewed and you can get my professional opinion on why I highly recommend this machine for new sewers. It is the Singer 4111. It is from the Singer Heavy Duty series. I ordered it from Joann's online, but not without doing a series of research. Walmart, Target, Michaels, Joann's had the best price point. I used my teacher reward, received 15% off, and an additional 30% from my Joann's promo code. It was originally $269, I paid $189, and ordered it online one evening, and then picked it up the next day curbside. So if you have a Joann's that's close to you, absolutely look into them for purchasing your first machine. And I will drop the link for the application for the teacher's reward in the description for this course. And that way all of my educators can take advantage of that 15% off. And I will also drop the, whatever Joanne's current promo code is, I'll drop that in the description as well so that everyone can take advantage of the discount because we all deserve to get a good deal. Before we set up our machine, let's talk workspace. All you will need is a good flat surface. It does not have to be a sewing table. Just to begin, you will need your machine to sit on a flat surface with enough space for you to eventually work with a few yards of fabric, patterns, and to initially work on small sample projects. If you're concerned about dings or scratches, make sure to have a protective cover for your tabletop, especially if it's your dining room or kitchen table. You will also need a chair that allows you to be at eye level with the top of your machine so that you're able to look down into your machine bed while you're sewing. You need to be able to sit comfortably and safely apply pressure to your machine foot pedal while seated. Be sure that the area is well lit. Although your sewing machine has its own lighting, the more light we have while sewing, the better. So moment of transparency, I have to admit that managing my creative workspace is where executive functioning becomes a total and complete challenge for me. When I'm focused and my creative flow is consistent, I want to just keep everything where it is at the end of each sewing session so I can quickly jump back in for the next session. But if I'm sharing that space with my family, I have to create a breakdown routine that allows me to smoothly transition in and out of that space. And I usually use a cart on wheels and I fill that cart with storage containers for various supplies so that cleanup is fast and easy. And the great thing about this machine is it is light and it is portable. So if you have to set up your creative space at your kitchen or dining room table and have to break down your workspace for meals or family usage, just unplug, wrap your foot pedal and cord, tuck it in your machine bed, Cover your machine, grab your handle, and store it in a closet or neatly in the corner of a room. And as you creatively evolve, your workspace will do the same. 
So without further ado, let's open up our box and take a look. Use whatever tool is safe for you to open the box. I'm going to use my regular scissors, not my fabric scissors. I don't want to use these scissors for cutting fabric. And we'll talk a little bit more about your supplies in our next session. Now carefully remove your machine. Lay out anything that's inside the box. Don't throw anything away until you have reviewed your instructions. When your box is empty, toss any packing supplies in and just keep it close by. Okay, so now here we have, of course, our machine, our power cord with the foot pedal and our bag of attachments. Here's where we can get excited. Let's review our attachments. First, we have our all-purpose foot. You'll also hear me refer to this foot as the straight stitch foot. This is the foot you'll predominantly use as beginner. Next up is our zipper foot. It's self-explanatory. This is the foot that you will use to do the majority of your zipper applications. There's one zipper application that requires a different foot, and that would be your invisible zipper, and we'll get to that in our more advanced session. Next up is your buttonhole foot. Pretty self-explanatory. This is the foot that you will use to execute your buttonholes in your garments. And here we have probably one of the most important tools for a beginner, intermediate, or advanced sewer. It's our seam ripper. And this one comes with a brush. The seam ripper is the tool that you will use when you make a mistake when you're sewing. You will use a seam ripper to pick out the individual stitches of the thread to open up the seam so that you can redo the seam. Next, we have the edge or quilting guide. This is a tool that is actually attached to the machine. It allows you to sew perfectly parallel lines with your machine and with the edge quilting guide. Another really important supply, an additional pack of needles. You will break a needle as a beginner, intermediate, or advanced sewer. You have an additional pack of needles to change out any needles that you may break along the way. And remember, your specific machine requires a specific needle. You want to know what that needle is that your machine requires. All needles are not interchangeable per machine brands. Your machine comes with two spool holders. This is used to hold your spool of thread in place while it sits on your spool pin. Another important supply, your bobbin. Your machines will not function without the bobbin. There are various bobbins for various machines and your bobbins are normally not interchangeable. So just be certain about which bobbin is required for your machine. Next, we have an auxiliary spool pin. It's an additional spool pin that comes with your machine. It's removable and it sits on top of your machine. It's only required when we have to use two spools of thread simultaneously. Next up, we've got our spool pin felt. Our spool pin felt is used to cushion the spool of thread while using our vertical spool pin. It's not required when using our horizontal spool pin. And finally, we have our soft cover or our dust cover. It's basically to cover your machine while it's not in use to protect it from dust or debris. Creative, I can't stress this enough. When you get your machine, you're going to be super excited. You're gonna to wanna to take it out of the box, skim over the instructions. You're even going to be dreaming about executing your first garment. But trust my professional opinion when I tell you, you will have more successful sewing experiences, more beautifully executed garments and products if you take your time to become fully familiar with all aspects of your sewing machine before you begin to actually sew. Now you can set up your creative workspace and unpack your sewing machine. Let's get together again and talk professional sewing supplies. All the things you'll need to create and confidently sew. Thank you once again for allowing me to take this sew journey with you. This is Royal Fulani Living Sew School, where we are building your confidence and a community for the neurodiverse, newbie, and non-sewer, one creative at a time. See you later. Bye-bye.